Today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade lava lamp. These are the materials that I need to carry out this experiment. So firstly I have water. I have red food colouring that I'm going to mix into the water later. Uh, it doesn't necessarily need to be red. You can use whatever uh, food colouring that you want. Um, I have vegetable oil. I have a jar, glass jar here that I'm going to put the ingredients into so uh, we can see what happens. It doesn't necessarily need to be a jar, you can use uh, any sort of plastic or glass bottle that you can see into. And I have these uh, vitamin tablets that are going to dissolve into the water. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add in the liquids that we're using. It doesn't actually matter the order in which we put them into the jar because what we're going to discover is the oil and water don't mix because they have different densities. So I'm going to add in the water first, although you could equally add the oil in first. Again, as I say, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to put it up to roughly around this level. Okay, now because it's a lava lamp that we are making, um, I'm going to add in the food colour. And the food colouring is going to change the colour of the water. Okay, so and it goes. And a bit of a mix, and that has changed the colour of the water to red. Now, I'm going to pour the oil in, and what you'll see is that the oil is going to sit on top of the water and that mix. So this is where we get the effect of our lava lamp. Um, the two liquids totally separate from each other and they may take a wee minute to settle, but they will not mix. Now a couple of other things we can do is we can add in things like glitter to the mix um, and it's just to make it that wee bit nicer whenever we um, add the tablet that's going to cause the reaction that causes the water to bubble and make it look more like a lava lamp. So I've just added in a couple of different um, colours and shades of, of glitter to the mix. And what I'm also going to do later, um, although I would advise if you're doing this, um, if you're going to decorate the bottle or the jar or whatever it is you're using, um, I would obviously do it before I've added in my liquids. So I mean that bit of advice just comes from experience that you obviously want to be drawing or painting on a bottle that doesn't contain liquid that you can potentially spill. Um, so I've added in our glitter and we're just giving it a wee mix. The glitter mixes in with the water and the oil. And the last thing we're going to add into this mix is our vitamin tablet. You can potentially use any um, sort of fizzy tablet that will dissolve in water so you could use paracetamol things like that there but um, you know particularly um, parents who have young children it's probably safer just to use a vitamin tablet um, that we can add into our mix now these type of tablets um, you will know that when you add them in what will happen is they will sink to the bottom and they dissolve in water um, what we're expecting is when the tablet starts to dissolve bubbles from the water should rise and rise up and mix into the oil, uh, creating a lava lamp uh, type of effect.
So there you have it. That's our homemade lava lamp. Um, you can make it your own. You can decorate the bottle. I've added a wee volcano on the side here, um, just using some uh, permanent markers. Um, you get different colored ones. You can use acrylic based paints on the outside. Obviously don't use watercolor paints. They will um, very easily come off the side of the bottle. Um, but something a wee bit different. It's a bit of a fun science and art project.